My name's Jared Shumway, uh, and I want to go a bit of a different direction with the theme tonight. So I want to talk to you about how life is terrifying and try to undermine your confidence in reality. <laughs> and then talk about the scale that humans exist on. And so let's start with how we perceive things. Most people are generally aware that, you know, we don't directly experience physical reality. We kind of have the consciousness and our sensory perception and then physical reality. Uh, and there's some issues in that physical or sensory perception layer. A lot of people have taken this um, blind spot test where if you get your head at just the right place, the black dot will disappear and be replaced by grid lines because, you know, your brain is projecting what it expects to see when it can't form the actual image because of your optic nerve. Um, you also, your brain takes regularly every day three to five practice sections of making shit up. We call these dreams. Uh, <laughs> and dream logic is pretty weird, but it's internally consistent, just like when we're awake, which is, you know, uh, kind of weird. Um, but... <laughs> Let's also talk about long-term knowledge because most people's worldviews are inductive statements about their life's experiences. So imagine you have this urn with like 25 black marbles in it and because you're this kind of person, you're tasting them and they all taste like, they all taste like black licorice, which is not the best but not the worst either. But then the last one tastes terrible and you realize that just because you've had the same observation 24 times in a row does not mean you'll have it a 25th time. So a lot of statements like the sun will rise tomorrow, the physical laws of the universe are static aren't quite as in place as a lot of people like to just pretend every day when you know they need to get up. So this is the part in the talk where I can talk about Cthulhu because Cthulhu <laughs> isn't really a thing that exists so much as it is just these forces that make humanity so insignificant that we can't comprehend it, especially can't influence it, and they typically don't have our best interests in mind. So back to that physics statement, uh, the Higgs boson is the thing we're pretty sure exists now, which implies the existence of the Higgs field, which is what gives matter to mass. And the Higgs field turns out is just right to support the order chaos balance of the universe. Uh, by which I mean that, or, or sorry, however, the field is not in its lowest energy state. And if it were to transition uh, to a slightly stronger state than it is now, it would shrink atoms, disintegrate atomic nuclei, and make it so that hydrogen would be the only element that could exist in the universe. Real scientists have this opinion, it's not just me. Um, <laughs> and if the field jumped or switched to the lower energy state, then that change would propagate throughout the field at light speed essentially annihilating everything that it got to. And so because we can't see this coming, and it could have happened already, it might just be coming towards us, and we can't tell, so look forward to that. Uh, but <laughs> everything that I've been saying so far has this assumption that we experience reality the way it actually is. So I invite you all to close your eyes for a minute and just imagine that you just woke up from the dream of life right now uh, and you know, realize it was all fake. And really the best course of action is just hope that you wake up in a nice, tranquil future and not in the future being harvested by machines for energy. Uh, by the way, the matrix is being shown after this, if you guys are curious. Uh, <laughs> and so let's talk about perception of time. Because you might be saying, Jared, that would be a really long fucking dream. And you're right, it would be. But not if it just started. Because usually dreams drop you into the middle somewhere and you just kind of have a perception that things have happened and that you've had previous experiences, even though you didn't actually. But maybe reality is like that anyway if it's not a dream. Maybe this is the first moment of true consciousness and everything before us is just, you know, remembering having experiences. Brian. Uh, which means, you know, all these like planted memories, falsified physical constructions, um, Speaking of memory, let's talk about how the physical or the past doesn't physically exist. And so we can't talk about it in any objective sense. By the way, in 1984, the Ministry of Truth that falsified the past and therefore created truth, that's literally what's happening. A lot of people didn't get that in middle school. I was pissed. Anyway, uh, what, and I'm sure a lot of people have had that experience like I have where you're trying to remember something and you don't remember if it happened in a dream or reality. And if you make the mistake of not stopping thinking about this early enough, you kind of realize that like memories of things having happened is like really disturbingly close to them have actually happened. But anyway, let's step back and talk about something else. Humans think they're like really fucking important, which is like laughably false, because we could be in like some alien's fishbowl, and we could be, you know, about to be pull, like pulled over by a galactic highway, whatever. Uh, but really, time puts this in the best perspective. If your life is the history of the Earth, then the last 15 minutes of night talks are all of humanity's existence, which means that by tomorrow morning, humanity is so long gone from the Earth that all the shit we did to mess it up doesn't matter at all because nature goes on. So maybe Cthulhu isn't the monster that brutally destroys towns out of nowhere for no reason. Maybe Cthulhu is the forces in the universe that have no sympathy towards humanity at all and could end life at any time. Or maybe... It's the fact that the veil of reality could be pulled back to our absolute horror at any instant, or the fact that we live in a universe that is so massive and a timeline so long that we're completely insignificant to impact anything, and maybe that will keep you up at night. <laughs>